Hi, I'm interested in donating my brain for research. I have severe depressive Dear brain disorder, donor project. generalized anxiety disorder. I'll be starting the disorder, donation application soon, even though I don't have a brain to disease. To whom it may concern. It really helps me feel better about myself. This is in regard to my mom. To my schizophrenic son, son died last illness. Friday. Thank you. My my it's the, the stories family. of the people who contact us that keep us moving forward. I say to people who aren't quite sure, you can make a huge difference in the future health and wellness of generations to come by leaving a simple gift when you're finished with it. Jean and I were married almost 59 years, known him since first grade. We had a long marriage, wonderful friendship, good family, just very proud of him. He was a good man. He left us sooner than I wanted him to. We began to look into Lewy body dementia once we were pretty certain that was his uh, condition. And then this whole new world opened up with brain donation. People were very curious about what we had done and we were very open about the fact that we had donated my dad's brain for research. We hadn't heard of it before. And so when it came time to make arrangements to donate his brain, it was very complicated. Because of all of the difficulties we had doing it, I thought, Ugh, this should be made easier for other people. Eventually, the Brain Donor Project was born to help simplify the process and get more people to understand the critical need for brain donation. The Brain Donor Project was built exclusively to support the Neurobiobank of the National Institutes of Health. People may or may not know that brain disorders are the leading cause of disability in the United States. Access to tissue is a stumbling block for a lot of science to get done. Mental illness affects the brain at a very, very fine level. So, there are all kinds of very small structures in the brain, neurons and the connections between neurons that we cannot visualize with neuroimaging, that we can't study uh, without actually looking at brain tissue. Despite all the clinical trials and sophisticated imaging, there is no substitute for human brain tissue. And until we have enough of that on hand so that scientists are assured of the resources, we can't make the progress that's needed in neuroscience. We've come a long way but we've gone an inch and we need to go, you know, 100 miles. There's often shortages of control tissue, so it's crucial that people participate in brain donation, not just if you have an illness, but also if you're healthy. This is a way of making a valuable contribution to the future of health. I know Gene would be so happy to know He's helping others. That was his whole mission in life. He would be thrilled to know that this has become his legacy. I can't help but feel strongly about this. Arranging now for a simple gift is the most selfless act you can plan for. What's to decide?